Hi, welcome back. I'm here with Reverend Strait, and we're going to talk about assumptions, the assumptions we make about ourselves and about each other. So, what do you think about that last scene that we saw where the daughter was working from one set of assumptions, and I think the mother was working from the same set, that, you know, she's not at risk for contracting HIV and AIDS, and the daughter was under another assumption where she, her mother wasn't even sexual, which is what we do a lot. We don't see our parents as sexual beings. Yeah, not, not just our parents, but uh, people over 50 in general. In general, yes. Yeah, and, and God forbid we start to talk about people over what 60. What I want to say to you is, I think you've been really strange since, since Daddy died. What do you mean? Well, that man that keeps hanging around you, I mean, who is he? Where did you meet him? I, I think one of the things that older people um, are facing when, when they're facing a life alone, the rest of their lives alone, is, is being in the company of uh, illness mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. um, our bodies start to get older and deteriorate and mm -hmm. deceive us mm -hmm. in ways that we never expected. Right. and being alone in that right. and that that would also I think encourage someone to take risks they wouldn't ordinarily take absolutely just to have the company of someone in their lives absolutely I'm surprised absolutely. he's not here now we've been through that before Diane you know Billy and I go way back we went to high school together you know that yes but what do you know about him I know that he makes me laugh. When you're at a point where, you know, you started out that journey with your husband or wife and you thought you were going to be together forever. Nobody thinks that the, the, the partner is going to die before they do. And so here you are, just like you said, now faced with this life that you have left that could be another 20 or 30 years that you are going to face alone. And God forbid that you have watched your partner get sick mm -hmm. and you've taken care of that person. So who's going to now take care of you? So, I need to talk to you, Diane. What? Well, you know that lately I've been a little under the weather, not feeling well. Well, I went, I went to get a physical. Yes. What? Are you sick? And a lot I of times we see children um, taking the role of taking care of the parent right. in other areas. Right. Um, but they don't think about taking care of the parent in the sexual area or Absolutely. in their private lives and, and making sure that their parents know what's out there. Absolutely. And and know the risks that they're that they're taking That's or right. maybe taking. My grandmother used to say that you're uh, you're once an adult and twice a child. Yeah. Oh, we have an audience here, and I'd like to see if there's any wisdom out there. We have a few minutes. Anyone would like to come up and say some things? 